The Macarena brings us back to Jackson Field. Bottom of the sixth inning, Akron with a 5 to nothing lead as James Shell Trown, the former Zip second baseman to my left, does the Macarena in the booth. Got to stay warm out here. Mason Mamarella at the plate. Two for two today with a pair of singles and an RBI single in the fourth inning. Alex Schmank, the new pitcher, and he's greeted with a single dumped into left field for Mamarella. How about the redshirt freshman? Three for three today. Now batting. Second baseman. It's definitely the Macarena. I can't say anything else. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I started doing the dance up here myself. It's got a good vibe to it, doesn't it? Great vibe. <laughs> I was doing some research on it yesterday. All right. And came out in the 90s. It was a classic, number one hit for a while. I mean, Great line dance song. Who doesn't know the dance? Right? Brings back memories of the <laughs> elementary school days for me. Exactly. The spring fling, huh? Yeah, as it starts to get a little warmer here in Akron. 20 degrees warmer than it was yesterday. Alex Lorenzo shows bunt, and it's a foul ball. Home plate umpire Randy Bachman immediately making the call after Lucas Sokol scooped up that ball. 0-1 the count on Dorenzo, who's 1-for-1 one one today, had a bunt single to start off the third inning against Stephen Calhoun. Alex Schmank is the new pitcher out of the bullpen for Toledo. Right-handed thrower. After the zip saw Calhoun, the tall lefty for five innings. 0-1 the count, here's the pitch. Dorenzo shows bunt and pulls back and takes in the count 0-2. Schmank making his 10th appearance, a 3.86 earned run average, 1-0. 11 walks and 16 in the third innings. 0-2 the count on Dorenzo. Shows bunt on 0-2. And, and he misses and strikes out. The Top of the order for the Zips, Dalton Mossbarger is the batter. One for three today. Singled in the third to right field. Six game hitting streak now for Moss Barger. Quite a season that the junior has had. Played in the outfield to start the year and now the DH after James Meeker tore his ACL and MCL. So a little bit of shuffling. But it hasn't hurt Moss Barger because he's continued to stay sharp. And how difficult is it for someone who's used to being out there in the field and seeing action for the whole game and then you transition to just being the DH? Right, it's, it's different player for player. Some guys really like to be involved in the entire game, defense and offense, but Dalton seems to be taking pride in his role of being just a hitter. He's, he's been doing a great job. He's been putting the bat on the ball, and that's all you can ask for a leadoff guy. Also doing a good job of getting on base. A 458 on base percentage, second on the team. 5 nothing Akron, bottom of the sixth inning, one out. Mason Mamarella on first base after his third hit of the afternoon. The trick for a DH on a day like the, a day like today is to keep your body warm because you don't want to be sitting around for two, maybe three innings and then have to come back in and, and re-warm up the body just on the on-deck circle. You've got to continue to run, run down to the outfield and, and keep the legs loose. 3 on the count on Mossbarger, and he takes a call strike in the count 3-1. I was actually thinking about that this morning because Akron has taken BP inside in the field house before the start of the two games this series. And you have these major league teams that have the batting cages inside, just outside the clubhouse in the newer stadiums. Yeah, I mean, they give those guys every single advantage they can possibly have. Mamarella steals second base. Third stolen base of the season for the freshman. That's the second time Tans has lost his glove out there. I hope his hand's all right. You never like to see that for anyone. Well, you bring it up considering that Tansel missed the first 15 games with a broken hand. Mm -hmm. We've seen first baseman in the past when they reach out into the baseline and the runner runs into their wrist. That's a dangerous play. That Same situation here. Play. That is a dangerous play. He's a senior, though. He's a, he's a tough kid. I've competed against him for a few years now. I have no doubt that he's going to stay in the ball game. He's had a good year as well. Came into today hitting at 275, five stolen bases. Count full on Mossbarger. Man, Morella has good speed. He leads off a second. He's in scoring position with one out. Five to nothing, Akron. Bottom of the sixth inning. Here's the payoff pitch. Grounded up the middle. Backhanded by Hanson. He loses the ball. Man, Morella scooters around third. He scores. And Akron takes a six to nothing lead. 
E4. Some kind of error. I mean, still trying to figure out the official scoring decision. That ball was absolutely ripped by Dalton. He got all the barrel on that one. Tough play to your left. That ball just slid on the ground. And in a play like that, it, it's, it's hard to tell if uh, it's going to stay on the ground or hop up at your last second. So he's caught a little bit in between having his glove on the ground and trying to make a play on a hop there. Matt Remblack, the batter. Well, if I was the official scorer, I'd give an infield hit and then I need four because that's why Mamarillo was able to score. Still trying to figure it out here in the booth, but we'll let you know once a decision is made. Ren Black hits that one into right field for a base hit. Second hit of the day for the shortstop as Moss Barger moves up to second. Two straight hits for Ren Black. And the Zips have runners on first and second with one down here in the bottom of the sixth. Setting the table again for Joey Haverlack. Just good hitting by Akron in this inning. Already three base hits. Yeah, a lot more offensive productive than we saw production than we saw yesterday. Going to start off a long day of baseball. Game one of a doubleheader. First pitch to Haverlack. Roped into left field for a base hit. Mossbarger scampers around third. Coming home. Throw cut off. It's an RBI single for Joey Haverlack, and the zips go up seven to nothing. Fifteenth RBI of the season for Haverlack, having another strong game, two for three with an RBI. I just want to point out what a great job of hitting Joey did on that. He kept his hands above the baseball, shot that the other way. He didn't try to do too much because he knew he had a guy in scoring position. He just wanted to get his job done, stayed on top of the ball, and laced a line drive between short and third. Just a smart baseball player, and you see it on the field every day. Chris Simonson, the batter. First pitch taken for a called strike. Nothing in one. Ramblack's on second. Haverlack on first. Four singles in the inning for the Zips. Simonton single to right field in the fifth. And ropes one foul down the first base side in the count 0 and 2. Akron scored three runs in the fifth inning and has scored two runs in this inning. Four errors by Toledo in this ball game. They've been sloppy in the field. 0-2 oh, the count. Simonton just gets a piece to stay alive. David Sunt's up here with James Shell Trown. So glad you're along for the ride on this Sunday afternoon. Game one of a doubleheader. Game two coming up around 35 minutes after the completion of game one. Akron entered today at 10-13, and 2-2 two and two in the MAC. 0-2 pitch, tap foul off a home plate, and we'll do it again at 0-2. Toledo at 9-16, and 3-1 and in Mac play. And what is the team's mindset like when you lose the first game of a series and then you play a doubleheader today? You got to win game one in the, in the doubleheader. You know that to, get that to get the series win able in game three, you know. So you come out today, you got to forget about yesterday. It's in the past, like I said earlier. And, and all baseball players have to have that mentality. So the Zips are doing a great job of forgetting about yesterday, realizing that today's a brand new day, the sun's out. You know, we're out here playing some baseball. Let's go have some fun and win some ball games. And they're certainly having fun today, up 7 to nothing against Toledo. Yeah, that always makes it a seven little easier runs, to be out on the hits. field, huh? JT Brubaker has retired 13 straight batters, has scattered just one hit, and has struck out seven. Owen to the count on Chris Simonson, the cleanup hitter. Curveball in the dirt. And the count goes to one and two. Matt Remblack leads off a second. And Joey Haverlax on first base after driving in a run on an RBI single to left field. Doing a good job going the other way. One and two the count on Simonson. Schmenk deals. Fastball in there called strike three at the knees. Chris Simonson grimaces as he walks back to the dugout. Looks a little bit less than thrilled with the call by home plate umpire Randy Bachman. Second strikeout of the inning for Alex Schmenk. Two outs, bottom of the sixth. 
Akron 7, Toledo nothing. Two runs home in this sixth inning for the Zips. Ryan Lee's at the plate three for three today with three singles. One of the guys you would want up in this situation, especially with the way he's hit the ball today. And he ropes one into right field for a base hit. Rendlick comes around third. He's looking to score, touches home. It's an RBI single for Brian Lees, and Akron takes an eight to nothing lead. Brian Lees has a lot of confidence going right now, seeing the ball great. He was looking fastball first pitch, obviously. He found it. It wasn't exactly where he wanted it, you know, which is right down the middle like all hitters. It was a little high and away. But he does a great job of staying on top of that ball. He's seeing it so well right now. He's, he's, he's got the confidence to go after a ball like that and still execute his job. Four for four performance for Brian Lees, all singles. That's always impressive. Four hits in a day is incredible. First RBI of the afternoon for the sophomore. Three runs home in the inning for Akron. Eight runs, 16 hits. Dom Euro, the batter. 0 for 3 today. First pitch, fastball taken low for ball one. Alex Schmenk, first inning out of the bullpen, has struggled. No action in Toledo's pen down the left field line. 1 0 the count on Dom Euro. Runners on the corners with two outs, and Euro lofts one out to left field. Brick comes in, it falls in oh, for wow. a base hit. Haverlack comes in to score. It's an RBI single for Dom Euro, and Akron takes a 9 0 lead. See, there's a play again. It was, it, was a, it was a soft line drive out there to left, left, left field that they, uh, at the left fielder there. And that's a tough one to read. You know, he obviously played it back. He, he did the correct thing, which is take a step back uh, as soon as the ball's hit off the bat, but it just started dying with that wind out there, and he couldn't make the play to get to it. Matt LaRocca, the ninth man to come up to the plate for the Zips in this inning. One for three today, doubled and scored a run in the second, flew out to the warning track in center field in the fourth. Got a lot of pop in his bat. Lee's on second. Doesn't have great speed as LaRocca swings through the first pitch. And the count 0 and 1. Took a big cut at that one, didn't he? He was thinking home run, maybe. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps. Looking he for his second is. long ball of the season. Hey, if I had power like he had, I would be too, though. And he's already hit two out to deep center today. 0-1, fastball taken low, and the count goes to 1-1. One and one. Dom Euro's on first base after his RBI single to left field. Team leading 18th RBI of the season. Nine to nothing Akron, bottom of the sixth inning, two outs. One, one, pop foul behind home plate and the count goes to one and two. Matt LaRocca has also made an impact on the mound for the Zips. Four saves this season, a 3.68 earn run average as the closer. Yeah, he's another hard thrower for us. Uh... Right-handed uh, right thrower out of the bullpen. Came in last year and did a great job in the MAC tournament of closing out games for us. Schmank misses down low, and the count goes to 2-2. Two and two. Nice to have that versatility. You can make an impact in the field and also on the mound. Yeah, special talent uh, has to be able to do that. Ryan Lees, the catcher, leads off a second. He's 4-4 four for four today. You're off a first. The 2-2 two, two fastball just inside for ball three. Count runs full on Matt LaRocca. Mary Grounds will be in motion with a full count and two outs. Lees will be on the move from second. Euro on the move from first. Here's the payoff pitch from Schmink. Hit on the ground to third. Martellata fields, zips it to first, and that retires the side. 